Hello everyone, the anime DAO here with another video. This time we'll be looking at Yashike. What does it mean? And where does it come from? But before you get started, don't forget to drop a like, ring the bell, and subscribe for more videos. The term itself seems to be misunderstood as a genre or subgenre of manga and anime. This is not the case, but first let us clear up any misunderstandings of the term Yashike. Yashi means healing, the term K refers to type, but Yashike means something that has healing faculties. However, what does this exactly mean? Healing does not refer to a physical sense here. Instead, it is a form of mood regulation, or in simpler terms, it is a form of relaxation. The origin of this idea does not originally come from manga or anime. Said it comes from a wider movement in Japan that eventually reached animation. The Yashi trend reached a boom in Japan in the late 90s. It was boosted by the difficult period of the 90s for Japan. It suffered tragedies like the Kobe earthquake in 1995, also the Om Shinyokyo terrorist attack in the Tokyo subways in 1997. In addition to that, there was the stagnation of the Japanese economy after the bubble economy collapse. These events all within the same decade highlighted the start of a different period for Japanese society. One that was completely different from the economic miracle of the 60s that led to the growth of optimism that partially continued in the 70s as well. The 90s instead was marked by pessimism and the rise of the lost generation. Many youths, educated or not, they could not find the same stable jobs that were available before. These events left a scathing mark in Japanese society and started a process of economic restructuring which continues to this day with the persistence of slow economic growth. It was in this context that there was the development of a boom of yashi or healing. The lost generation and many people became receptive to things that could relax them from the stress of daily life. This came in the form of an interest in pursuing things like creams, bath salts, therapy, both of music and literature that could provide a form of relaxation from the stress of modern life. These all aim to provide a soothing excuse in music for example, or ambience, calming music like rainfalls, waterfalls, or crashing waves, with soothing instrumental tracks. In a sense, this links to nature is a way to distance oneself from the urban environment. In literature, Yashi can be seen in stories that bring optimism and other positive feelings. Authors like Haruki Murakami and Toshikazu Kawaguchi explore the Yashi in their stories. It's precisely through this process of soothing the mood and bringing out positive feelings that it is a healing experience. Of course, this trend spilled over to the visual medium that is animation, and many anime try to replicate this healing effect. This is possible because they can simply embed the yashi aspects of literature and music and blend them alongside the animation to attempt to provide an even greater healing experience. The visual aspect, which is the most important in animation, mixes well exactly because of this blend of the music and scenery which is a key part of healing series. One example of a series that does yashi is Super Cub. This story lends itself well for Yashi because it has a subdued style, with the main character being a vulnerable child that lives in government apartments, someone without family, money or friends. After buying in the Super Cup, it instantly becomes a part of her and it gradually fills the void of her life from other things. This is a story that breeds positivism and it's why it's an Yashi K. Alongside this is the visual excellence of the series and the music. There are elements created to enhance the healing experience of the story. In the first episode, for instance, the coloring is rather grey, there is almost no music. It highlights the monotonous life of the main character, and when she buys the bike and rides, the soothing music starts to play and the world starts to become less grey. The animation and music play to enhance this type of story it is. This is why it's one of the best anime this spring and one of the best Yashike I have watched. Another series that I want to highlight is Ishigo Mashimaro. It is different from Super Cup in that its story just focuses on three elementary schoolgirls and a college student. It focuses on their daily life, but there's no clear healing story here. In fact, the healing comes from the lack of story, the focus on the animation and music alongside the general hijinks these girls get involved in. It's cute, heartwarming and funny, which alongside the very down-to-earth music and sound effects and its slow pace and soft animation make it a great healing show as well. So well, that was the video guys, so what do you guys think about Yashike? Leave your favorite Yashike anime down below.